So I'm going to have snail and turtle and then regular speed. Whatever. I have my functions. Yeah, it says one, zero, one, zero. Okay. So I am very curious to know what you guys think about the changes we've done today. Hey guys, welcome to part 18 of my Let's Learn Ship Designer series for Starbase. This episode is going to be fairly long, so I won't waste too much time here. So after having been to the PvP zone with my new ship, I realized a few things. The first one is that I need more speed options for when I'm flying through asteroid fields. I also felt like I had rushed the interior plating and it looks unfinished, so I want to finish it before buying the next version of the ship. I also realized I don't even have a transponder on this ship. Not that I would ever want to use it in the PvP zone, but if I ever fly with other players and we get separated, a transponder will be useful to help them find me. Lastly, I thought it was time for me to add decals to the outside. By the time I'm done with all this, it's starting to look a lot more like a finished and polished product. The only thing the ship is missing after today are weapons, and those are coming. Trust me. Alright, enough talk. We have a lot of work to do, so let's get started. So, the first thing is I want to have a second speed. So, I'm going to have snail and turtle and then regular speed and the reason why is because sometimes I just want to travel but there are too many asteroids and I don't want to be going top speed but I don't want to be going snail speed either and right now turtle is set to 12% of my regular speed and 12% is just too slow so this is going to become snail <coughs> sorry this is going to become snail and then turtle is going to be like 30 percent instead so your old chip socket yes okay uh need to check something i want my turtle mode to affect this. I'm gonna rename this the default name. I'm gonna have to give it a different name because there are a lot of lever max outputs. Like every lever has a max output. So F W D max output. So now it's forward max output and this one is now going to be called snail. This is not going to have any value. The button on state is only going to be one. So now when I press it, snail is equal to one. Copy this. I'm going to bolt it. Alright, and you're going to be called Turtle. Let's try something here. So if Snail is equal to 1 then FWD max output equals 12. I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm just gonna be testing things here. I don't have the whole script in my head just yet, so I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do this with two buttons to activate the same thing. Turtle equals zero. So I need to make sure that when one button is pressed, the other one is not pressed. So if snail is equal to one, then 
forward max output is equal to 12, turtle equals zero. And let's see if this works. If turtle is equal to one, then oops, FWD max output equals 30. Turtle equals zero. Now I might be missing something here though. I don't know, maybe this works, maybe it doesn't. I, I don't, I have a feeling this might not work exactly as intended. So I haven't said, I haven't mentioned to the script, like what exactly happens when turtle equals zero. I'm not a programmer guys. I think it shows right now that I'm not a programmer. I'm, I'm having to figure this out as I go. But first I want to see if this works. So let's just say go to one here. Let's just see if this works. So no, it doesn't work. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot my, I forgot my colons. I keep forgetting those, don't I? <laughs> I got, I put my colons there, I put my colons there, but I didn't put my colons here. And yeah, this is, this is snail, not turtle. I'm so dumb. Okay. So this part works. Why? It, it was working and then it stopped working. Wow. That's weird now. So forward max output is at 12. If I press this. Why are you having that much trouble? Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh I don't know why sometimes it's working and sometimes it's not. So the way I want it to work is if I press snail, then I'm going at snail speed. If I press turtle, then it automatically sets to turtle speed, which is 30%. But then if I unpress this one, I want it to go back to 100. So hang on, I might have an idea. Let's add, oops. If turtle, oops, is equal to zero, snail is equal to zero, then, I don't even know if this is gonna work. Like, I, I don't even know if I can give it like two conditions in a row like this. I have no idea if that's gonna work. I'm just trying it. So if turtle and snail are equal to zero, then forward max output is equal to 100 and so if both are equal to zero then forward max output equals a hundred all right so you 
Right now, forward max output is equal to 100. If I press snail, it goes to 12. And it's not going back to 100. If I want to make it so that it's at 100 if both are at zero. There's got to be like a super easy equation that I could write in one line that would make it work. But I'm not a mathematician and I'm not a programmer, so... I'm having trouble seeing it. Okay, well... Let's just try things. I think I'm actually... I'm gonna change the name of this. So instead of forward max output, it's gonna be FMO. Just so that it fits better on one line. That's forward max output. I'm gonna delete all of this. How do I make it so that I'm referring to two different values at the same time? So if snail and turtle are equal to zero, like how do I write that? I don't even know. So if snail is pressed, then turtle equals zero, FMO equals 12. If snail equals one is pressed, then turtle can't be pressed, and FMO equals 12. And let's try this. It's gonna be similar to earlier, but so if, Turtle is equal to one, then snail equals zero, FMO equals 30. And so that's pretty much the same as earlier. Yeah, I don't care about the go to one, not yet. Why, why does it take so long? No space to leave seat. Of course there is. I used to leave seat from behind. Unless I can't leave seat because of these things. Huh. Interesting. Good to know. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So what, I can't have a floor? It used to just back me up, right? Right behind the seat before. So this is... Okay, so now it's working. All right, so I'm gonna need more chips because right now like if, if it has to go through several lines it's just it's not fast enough
That's going to be complicated. Oh, if turtle is equal to one, then snail oops, equals zero. FMO equals no thirty. All right, what about now? Is it working? Nope. <laughs> it works a few times and then it's... It jams again. It doesn't want to. Why? Right now it says 100. Okay, that's weird. Oh, because this one and this one are not even connected. No, nope, it doesn't work. to tell it that if both are at zero so let's try rewriting this snail is equal to zero oops oops turtle equals zero then fmo FMO equals 100 and go to 1. Colon, oops. Colon, colon. No, they're both at zero right now. Uh, I have an idea. If snail plus turtle equals zero, then FMO equals 100. Ha! So the plus sign actually saved me. So obviously it's better if I do this. It won't even... Okay, now it just did change. It took a while. And... Why? Why did you go back to 100 then? Why are you having so much trouble? Why are you switching back to 100? It's not going back to 100. It's just, it stays at 30. That's good. What about... Why does this one switch like that? I can't leave it like that. So the code works. I know it does. But there's something in here that it really doesn't like. What if I put parentheses... I don't even know if parentheses are a thing in this type of code.
<laughs> Parentheses fix my problem. Once again, it's not something I knew, it's just something I decided to try. I had no idea this was a thing. Whatever. I have my functions. Okay. Uh, I guess I will reclose that wall. Okay, I can still get out. Okay, so I can still get out of my chair. So I can add more bolts. I'm gonna have to add more plates here as well. I think it's the floor. I won't be able to cover the floor at all.
Now can I still get out of my chair? Okay. Everything works. Alright, I just need to cover this now. There was one last thing I wanted to do before I can call this one finished. Changing the FCU for a better one and adding controls for left, right, up, down because this ship does not have that. The basic is the one I'm currently using, then there's the advanced, and then there's the premium. I just can't have the premium because the premium costs materials I don't have so this one right here is the one that would be in the laborer FCU forward. Okay, so is this how my FCU forward, FCU backward, FCU roll, FCU yaw, FCU pitch, FCU forward, backward. Okay, so let's remove the rotational garbage. FCU pitch. FCU yaw, FCU roll, FCU up, down, and left, right. Those are exactly what I was looking for, so now I just need two more levers. I can put them anywhere. It really does not matter. 
Centering lever. I actually prefer to bolt them to the beam, so that's what I'm going to do. There you go. Now I can bolt them. There, one more for luck. All right, now let's plug these things. So I'm looking for FCU up down, FCU left right. So you're gonna be you left right that's what it is right oh it's right left not not left right okay it's already working if I had more thrusters I mean more maneuver thrusters this would be stronger. So I just I just turned on turtle. This is working. Just turned on snail. This is working. Now I know I said this was going to be my last thing, the levers, but this ship does not have a transponder, so How do I know if my transponder is on or not? Okay, zero. Yeah, it says one, zero, one, zero. Okay. It's not the sexiest way to say that it's on, but... <laughs> Let's see the cost of the ship now. Yeah, I can, I can easily buy it. Alright, so... That's too big. Let's see if I can ride it from here to there.
KU for Crawl Unchained, Pilgrim V1. Okay guys, we're getting close to the end here, but before I end it, I have a confession to make. After adding the decals to the ship, I told myself I would end the video there, but then keep working on the ship a little bit more, just to keep polishing the interior a little more with decorative wall panels and floor panels. So I did exactly that, but then I didn't want to stop there, so I kept going. Still off cam, I added an auto cannon to the ship, so I had to add a trigger button to shoot with it. Then I realized my power management script was going to cause problems if I ever fight because the cannon drains power and uses up more power while shooting. So with that in mind, I added a new button, which I called combat, and that button, uh, all that button does is it turns off my power management script and boosts my generators to 100% and keeps it there until I turn off combat mode again. All that took me another two plus hours and I wasn't recording for any of it. So I want to apologize for this. I was in a zone and really focused and up until the end, my intention was to just scrap it all after I was done and rebuild the whole thing on cam. But after I finally made everything work as intended, I thought it was too much work to scrap it. So what I will do is show off all of those new features in my next video and explain how it all works. And after that, if you guys really want to see me rebuild the whole thing, then I will, if I get enough requests for it. But regardless, I want you guys to know something else. I am getting ready to start working on a new ship soon. That new ship will be bigger and it will have guns. So even if you guys don't get to see me add a gun to this one, you'll still see me add guns to my next ship for sure. Hopefully that will make up for it. Alright, I'm done talking for now. As always, you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Take care and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye bye!